Okay, here's what I've put together for this little project. I have a pill bottle to put everything in. I have a good 9 volt battery. I have a dead 9 volt battery. I have this little uh, voltmeter that I got off uh, Amazon. I have a little on off switch. I have a old uh, HDMI cable. And I have a little couple scraps of wire. Um, I'm going to build me an HDMI uh, voltage checker. This is the voltmeter I bought off Amazon. As you can see, it was about four and a half dollars. We're also going to need some basic hand tools, wire strippers, wire cutters, soldering iron, solder, maybe some pliers and uh, some screwdrivers and stuff. Um, and probably something to, uh, well, I'll probably use a drill to drill this out so we can get the cable into there. Okay, here I'm just going to cut the uh, HDMI cable, um, cutting it about, I don't know, give me a little bit of room. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and toss half of it and, and then strip it down. Um, I'm pretty good with a T-stripper so I can uh, get through that, but uh, you know, if you want to use a little razor knife or something that might be easier for you. Okay, now that the outer jacket's off, um, I just use a little screwdriver to, to undo the braid and uh, get the shield all there into one, one bundle. Um, then I rip off the foil here, just a little nip and the foil will rip right off. Okay, so now the foil's off, I start um, figuring out what wires are what. Um, kind of off camera, I, I, took a, I took my voltmeter and I... Uh, or my own meter and I just kind of figured out what wire was going to what pins and I'm going to show that here in a little bit um, but right now I'm just kind of sorting through it okay in this graphic I kind of show the pins real quick and uh, the colors that were in this particular cable yours might be different okay I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut off the um, video wires because I don't need them and I'm going to twist the uh, shield the main shield together now here I am, I'm cutting into the uh, dead battery that I spoke about at the beginning of the video. We're going to rip that open and we're going to um, get that top off of it. We're going to use that as our connector um, to, to solder to to feed to the, uh, to the good battery. Okay, here I am uh, putting some solder on the uh, battery terminal that we just took off the dead battery. And we're going to attach some wires. Um, real quick to it um, and uh, here's the finished product so we got the uh, red wire attached to the bigger terminal and the black wire attached to the smaller terminal and this will mate up nicely with the positive on the on the good battery um, we'll go to the red wire okay that completes the uh, battery cap Drill bits are a little bit dull, so it takes me a little bit of time here. But I eventually get the two holes drilled into it, and uh, I think the second one here goes a little faster. Yep. And then uh, I just take an exacto or a, a razor knife, and I just uh, cut between the two holes, and then uh, and then just kind of carve it out until it uh, until the uh, switch fits in there nicely. Um, I was going to hot glue it in there, but as it was, I think I just made it kind of fit kind of tight and then uh, you know I just left it okay here I have the uh, switch fitting in the hole nicely and uh, it it's pretty tight fit so I decided just to uh, wire it up and uh, just leave it um, friction fit in there okay here I am I'm drilling the hole for the HDMI cable to go into the pill bottle um, getting my drill bits a little bit dull so it takes me a little bit longer than it should to do this um, but I eventually get it gnawed through there and uh, then I'll just clean up the hole with the, the razor knife okay next step is to stick the uh, HDMI cable that I cut off earlier into the pill bottle um, just stuffing it in um, and then uh, 
I'm going to spend a little bit of time um, stripping that uh, label off just to make it look a little nicer. Okay, next step is I kind of measure out how long the wire needs to be and cut it. And then we are going to uh, solder it to the uh, switch assembly. Okay, just tinning the wires here. And then we're going to go ahead and solder it onto the switch assembly. And uh, that only takes a second. So, pretty much at this point, um, we are done with the battery clip and the uh, red power wire. So, done. Okay, here you can see the uh, switches is installed in the case and we're just gonna hook up the, the wire, the meter wires now. So, um, we have a white wire, which is what we're gonna be measuring. Red wire is goes to the positive terminal of the battery and the black wire is ground. And that ground also needs to go to what we're measuring. Um, so let's take a second and talk about why I'm building this. Um, we've been having some troubles at my job where some of the computers, especially the new MacBook Pros with their USB-C converters from Apple, aren't putting out um, 5 volts. And this is causing some problems with uh, um, amplified cables. Um, there's not enough power to make the cable work. So we wanted to have something we could check something with, check that voltage with. And uh, this is uh, how we decided to do it. Okay, so here I am. Everything's completely wired. I'm uh, plugging the battery into the battery clip so we can test it for the first time. Um, unfortunately, my uh, my liquid, liquid electrical tape wasn't quite dry yet, so I got a whole bunch on my thumb there. Um, but here we are. Um, power switch on. Uh, the uh, the display comes on at 0.0, .0 volts and it goes off with the power switch so here's a Sony Blu-ray um, and I'm just gonna plug it into this uh, HDMI port here and we'll see what our voltage is gonna be and uh, we'll, we'll see how that looks um, so there we go um, the Sony Blu-ray player passes the test with a rock-solid 5.0 volts which is what it's supposed to be, 5.0 volts. Okay, off camera I had uh, heat shrunk those connections and I'm just gonna clip down these other wires so that they don't uh, connect anything. I'm going to secure the HDMI cable with a couple of tie wraps, one on the inside of the pill bottle and one on the outside of the pill bottle. Uh, this will keep the HDMI cable from uh, dancing around inside the uh, container. Alright, at this point all that's left is to jam the uh, display down inside the uh, uh, pill bottle and make sure that it can uh, be read from inside the pill bottle. Alright, the assembly is complete. All that's left is to put the battery in and put the top on. And there it is. Um, thing of beauty and a joy to behold as my old buddy Crazy Leonard would say. Now completely portable here I am testing it on a Hero 4 from GoPro we'll see uh, uh, with this little mini HDMI to HDMI adapter we'll see uh, if the GoPro puts out um, 5 volts like it should. Um, it's kind of interesting um, I did this test a couple times and when the GoPro is not powered on it does not put out any voltage of course to uh, keep the uh, battery from from dying if you have a HDMI cable plugged into it but as you'll see here um, with the GoPro on it is five, 5 volts as you would expect Okay, this is testing a Crestron uh, DM transmitter. It's under the table in our conference room at work. Um, and it does not uh, test correctly. I have a feeling it's because of the uh, HDMI configuration, the cables we have uh, that connect the transmitter to this port on the table box. Um, I think they're dropping too much power. Next, I tested my Lenovo dock at my work. Um, just to see um, if the dock put out different voltage than the actual computer did. 
and as you can see here it tested um, I think 4.9 volts let's see which is uh, you know 4.9 that's close enough to 5 to be uh, solid um, the next test I did was just the laptop off the dock and I think it tested better it tested right at 5 um, which is you know fine so uh, 5.1 volts actually so a little a little more than 5 volts the next thing I tried it on is a Extron uh, receiver module um, you know so it's HD based T to uh, HDMI and it, it, it tested at 4.8 volts which is okay um, it's, and then I tried one more test and that is the transmitter part of that receiver and I could not test that because my I don't have a pass-through port on this so maybe next time I'll build it with an HDMI pass-through port the green light means that this is connected and powered hi Brad here I just wanted to take a second and personally thank you for watching my video if you could uh, click the subscribe button down here I'd appreciate it. I also selected uh, another follow-up video for you up here. And, uh, and if you could give me a like, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.